When we construct large load-bearing structures such as buildings, dense heavy materials like steel are used. Nature, on the other hand, uses cellular materials. And now we have discovered why. A relatively new class of materials called metal foams offer significant advantages. First of all, they are light. Uh, this piece of uh, metal foam is made of aluminum and it has a density about 10% of the original aluminum. On the other hand, uh, this type of closed cell metal foams, when you put it under loading, it can absorb a lot of energy. Dr. Rabi of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at North Carolina State University is an expert on metal foam technology. After I got my PhD in Japan, University of Tokyo, I started working on actual metal foams with a group at Harvard, MIT, and Cambridge. And now, Dr. Rabi and her team of researchers at North Carolina State University have created a new type of metal foam, an ultra-high-strength metal matrix composite foam. This material showed much higher strength-to-density ratio compared to any other metal foam ever reported. In other metal foams, variations in the cell size and thickness of the cell's wall cause uneven deformation under loads. This ultra-high strength composite foam uses hollow spheres to create cells of a uniform size reinforced by a metal matrix. So what we have is a metallic matrix around the individual hollow spheres and we call it a composite metal foam. This composite stainless steel foam has a density about a third of that of bulk steel, but has much greater energy absorbing properties. Energy absorbing of this material compared to bulk material is 80 times higher. If you compare the same steel foams, uh, it will be like about seven to eight times higher. That ability to absorb energy can be seen in this load test comparison. We applied 10,000 pounds on both samples. This one showed a huge indentation. All the load was transferred by the bulk material to the back plate, so you can see the deformation in it. But in the other case, the foam material absorbed the energy. You don't see any deformation much in here, no indentation here. This ultra-high strength composite foam has numerous industrial applications. We have done some back-of-the-envelope calculation on using uh, two of these uh, behind the bumper in a uh, regular four-passenger car. If you're in a car traveling with a speed about 28 miles per hour and have an accident, it will feel the same as having an accident traveling at 5 miles per hour. This versatile, impressive steel foam can be manufactured using existing casting and powder metallurgy processes. Manufacturing equipment for, let's say, uh, casting, there's nothing to add to it. They just need to make the mold and uh, they can start uh, processing it. The hot press sample, we just mix the spheres and the powder, put it in the hot press, and uh, you take the sample out. So both of these processing techniques, uh, casting and powder metallurgy, are very easy to scale up. I'm Billy Hotelling, Director of the Office of Technology Transfer at North Carolina State University. These ultra-high strength metal foams have improved mechanical properties that make them valuable to the aerospace, transportation, and biomedical industries. This technology illustrates the culture of innovation at NC State. By combining university innovations with the expertise of industry partners, we maximize the potential benefits for the greater public good. Please visit our website and learn more about our partnering opportunities. I look forward to speaking with you.